Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Supercoach Happy. Welcome back. I know it has been a while in terms of the YouTube channel. Um, if you also follow my Instagram, you'll be wondering where the hell is he going? Okay. So funny story. For some reason, my account has been banned. Oh, it's it's been disabled. Um, it got disabled a couple months ago. On a couple about a month ago, probably. Um, it said to appeal that. I don't know what I'm even appealing. I don't know what I did wrong. Um, I have appealed it. It said in in the thing, it says it usually takes around a day. Um, as you know, it has been a month. And I have not heard anything back yet. I cannot get in contact with Instagram. So there is a chance that my my, my days of uh, Supergo Chappie on Instagram could be done. It could be done. Um, this could be it for me because uh, I cannot be bothered to start another Instagram account. I really can't. Um, it, it took nearly three years for me to get 350. I'm not, you know, I'm 21. I'm <laughs> at uni. I'm doing a job now. You know, like I don't really have the time to try start it all again. If my account comes back one day, I'll post on it. But yeah, stuff like buy or sell pod, um, game reviews, unfortunately, that's in the mud. It seems like the only thing I've got so far. I'm only going to have is game is team reviews every week. That's on my YouTube channel, which I might not even do. I don't know. It depends on what I'm up to it. I don't really – I'm not a big fan of the YouTube aspect. I was more of Instagram, but looks like I don't really have a choice now. But, yeah. Anyway, this is going to be my team post the first week of preseason in terms of games. Obviously, it's, it's Monday, 2.52. 26th of February, we have got the first Amy Community Series games tomorrow. I'm going to do my team before it and after it. It might be exactly the same. I feel like my team is pretty set. I'm very happy with what I have right now. Starting off, Nick Dacos. I think you're stupid not to have him. Honestly, I'm just saying all these pros are saying no Nick Dacos. I think you're dumb. This guy is average 116 last year. That's after, that's with an injury, I think. Um, he was easily the best. Um, he's owned by 64%. Oh, yes, he has Hawthorne, which McGinnis kept until 40 last year, and then he has the bye the week after. Crummy River, honestly. Okay. Yes, he against Hawthorne, he might copper a bit, and then he has a bye. Okay. And then after that, if he go think about it, that buys in round, what, five, round six or something? If he goes crazy in the first four rounds, because the average is 120, and he's above 700k. Have fun getting him in because I'm going to have him. Next, Tom Stewart and Luke Ryan. Yes, I do not have Sicily. Um, Hawthorne's injury list in terms of their defense um, has driven me away from Sicily. I almost said he won't. Um, but Tom, I feel like Tom Stewart and Ryan are better. And Ryan's a pod who could easily average as much. Sicily averaged... Uh, 120 with Blank in the team. He averaged like 107 without. Um, not that it's bad, like a 107 average, completely fine. But it seems like without his midfield, without that defense, um, he doesn't really have help. And in his match sim, he didn't do the best. He didn't really have the opportunity. He didn't really get freed up. He wasn't able to take that intercept role. I mean, until even Phillips came in, then he kind of got into the game a bit more. But even then, I, I don't know how it's going to work. He's still a top six defender. I still think oh, he'll be in my team at the end of the year. 100% probably. Like, I don't see why he wouldn't be there. Um, I've gone Luke Ryan because with Hayden Young's move into the midfield, um, he should be better than last year in the sense that he's just going to take kick outs. He's going to be that seagull. He's going to be great. Um, Tom Stewart, very simple. Best defender in the league. Um he has said with the midfield allegation, not allegations, but the ideas, he said, no, I'm a defender. I've proven myself as a defender. I'm playing there. Um, yeah, from time to time, I might go in the midfield because why not? But I'm a defender. So that's enough for me. Next, a man who impressed me very much. He's always been on the radar, but I don't know. Impressed me very much in his match team. Um, had over 20 disposals, effective with Hawthorne's injuries, it seems like he's set to be in that back line, um, running off half-back. I think he'll be very good and make me 
some money. Next, Zach Williams, simple. Um, yes, he's not playing preseason, which scared me a bit, but 216, if he gets injured, you downgrade him, and he's owned by 55%. So I'm not that fussed. Not that fussed with that. Next. Not gonna lie. I have forgotten the player that I was gonna put here. <laughs> I have forgotten the player, I think. I have forgotten the player. No, I said yes, no. Caulfield the start, yep, give kiss and uh where is he? Ethan Phillips. Okay. Um Caulfield played very well. Gibkiss was very good. And Phillips is a 102 that looks like the, he's going to play away due to Hawthorne's injuries. Very simple. Gibkiss and Caulfield have been a lot from day one. I think it's stupid not to have them. On to the midfield. I have gone big. Big midfield. Bontempelli, Zach Merritt, Jordan Dawson, Zach Butters, Luke Davis, Uniac. Every year I have a shit midfield and it cost me. Last year... My midfield stunk. So I said, this year, I'm getting the best midfield possible. That is the midfield. Look, Merritt, I don't know yet. I could take him out for like a, you know, a good one. Or maybe Saron, because he has decent buys. Or, you know, maybe I can bring in a track. But I don't know what these forwards that is. And poor time, I don't really like it. Laird, I don't know. He had a very good game as well. Um, Libertor is obviously always it's there. Same with Dunkley. Round two by though. I don't really like it. Moving on to the uh, rookies, McKercher, Sanders, and um, I forgot it again. How do I forget my team? This is the most super coach happy thing you've ever seen in your life. I've forgotten my team. Um, now it's so Man who's impressed me and has been very good. Hustweight. Very good. He's been very good. Bench. Simpson. Very good preseason. Looks like he's set for round one, potentially. Sharp. He's set for round one. And I don't know what he's doing right now. I didn't really see him. I didn't see much of him about in the talk, in the conversation about practice, in the practice match. I haven't seen much. It's going to be a lot easier this week with it actually being official in the sense like we're actually going to have stats we can check all the stats. We can see everything. It's going to be a lot easier to track them. But I feel like those uh, sharper men are on everyone's bench. And then Simpson, I feel like there's a little pod rookie who I like. Um, go on, Grundy. I think you're stupid not to. Yeah, people being on Sherry as a little pod. I don't mind that. Marshall's a bit too expensive, I like it. Same with Tim English. Name Smith, I like that because he's going to play. So maybe if I have an extra money, I could just to make some money, but at the same time, I need a loophole. Um, so I might just pass on those bit. On to the forwards. Sam Flanders, F1. Dimmer has said he's going to send it. Um, we're going to give it to him. We're going to, you know, he's going to be the guy. Um, so I'm like, cool. In my team, F1. The only premium I'm having, Nat Fife, was brilliant in his match sim. He was brilliant. Um but, yeah, there is the injury injury um, caution around him. I mean, even him, there was a video of a fan saying, hey, should I get you my fantasy? He's like, mm, not yet, mate. You know, I still could get injured, you know. <laughs> so just be a bit careful with me. Um, but, yeah, he's, he's in there for me. If he stays fit, then we could see prime five again. James Harms working through the forward line into the midfield, into the contest, since Jack McRae is dead in the water, apparently. They just hate him now. I don't know. Um so, yeah, I feel like that is um, the best. Uh, he, James Holmes is a very good pick and could be there the whole year, depending on what he does. I don't know. Uh, Harley Reid didn't have a good practice match. Did not have a good practice match. It's very concerning, for being honest. Um, he rotated through midfield and defense and didn't do anything. It wasn't a good day out. I really hope he recovers and... Um, brings it home, but it did not look good um, from what I heard. It doesn't sound good. 
Next, a man who had a very good performance against the Pies, Lazaro, had a very good preseason. They said he was dominating North midfield and intra club, and then he's very well against the Pies. Um, obviously, they had a lot of players out at Collingwood, so like, don't look into it. But Lazaro is going to start, he's going to play, he's going to be in that midfield mix. Why not? Why not? And then lastly, I got Windsor, who impressed me when they played Richmond. And, that, and then I've got Finn McRae and Darcy Wilson. Darcy Wilson, I'm still tossing up Alex Sexton. Playing in the back line has a good, a good role. I'm very tempted, but Wilson's playing on the wing. He's set for round one. He looks like he's going to be one of the guys. Finlay McRae, I don't know yet. Obviously, Collingwood just won the premiership. They have a very hard side to get into. He's not just going to go straight into that midfield and be out there. They're out. Like our right player, you know they got Dacos, they got Dugowie, McCrew is apparently teasing the midfield. Um, like they've got players that are coming through, you know. And I must have Bobby Hill because why the fuck not? <laughs> um, but I don't know if McCray gets a proper go. I don't know. Well, if not, I've got Sexton there waiting. I've got Sam Darcy. I've got Cadman. There's a lot of rookies. There's a lot of rookies this year, especially in the full line, which is really good considering the lack of primo forwards that we can make up with decent rookies that will make us some money. But that is my team. That is my team. Um, I've already invested so much. I already know what I'm doing for VC captain. It's Dacos at the Bond. Sydney at, saying that he might get tired, but anyway, Sydney at home. And then Bond's belly has Melbourne, who we always say, oh, you know, there's too many midfielders, but then he rips it every time anyway, so it's fine. Um, actually, no, it'll be, it'll be Butters with West Coast. <laughs> Never mind, forget what I said. Um, but yeah, that's that's my team right now. I don't think anything really changes unless there's an injury. I'm looking at my team. I'm thinking there's a, a good balance that I never have. You know, I've always had this pod primo. Like last year, I started with Dale. Horrific. Year before, Nick Blakey. I kept him all year, but he was pretty terrible. Last year, I started with Tanner Bruin. What a bad choice that was. Um, I'm trying to play it safe this year as I have Luke Ryan as 3%. But Luke Ryan seems like a safe pod because it's Luke Ryan. You know, he, he can't really go wrong. It's hard for him to go wrong. He takes kick outs. He's got a good kick. It's targets, you know, like, um, yeah. Like, I don't see how this team can really go wrong right now. For what I'm seeing. Yeah, maybe Dan Brozier is a bit of a risky one. Probably won't be there just because I won't risk it. I have no Curtin um, or Dersma, Zane Dersma. Um, Zane Dersma didn't play, so I don't know. And Curden might not even play in round one. He is playing with the Bs, injury, didn't really do that much in the match sim, wasn't really good. It doesn't look good for him right now. Um, I'm sure he'll debut later in the year, but right now I don't think he's a starter. I'd rather Hustwaite or, you know, obviously Sanders. I'd rather Windsor, Lazario. I'd rather Lazaro. I'd just rather these players. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that. I apologize about Instagram. Unfortunately, it's out of my control. I really want it back. I do actually really miss it. I thought I wouldn't, but I do. Um, I miss just interacting with you guys. But, yeah, um, thank you, and I'll see you all next time.